Tonight, we are learning new details in the Taunton tragedy. As we first reported last week, it took firefighters more than 20 minutes to discover two stabbing victims at Myrick Street, the first scene in Taunton where Kathleen and Patricia Slavin were stabbed in their home. Patricia Slavin died from her injuries. And new at 6, the fire department is acknowledging the delay and tells us they are examining what went wrong. Target 12 investigator Tim White is here now with the latest. We're going to play some 911 calls for you to help piece together this tragic timeline, but Eyewitness News is not playing the 911 call from Kathleen Slavin, one of the stabbing victims, because of its graphic nature. The first 911 call was for a car accident on Myrick Street. 911 recorded line, where is your emergency? It's at Clare, the top of Clare Terrace in Myrick Street. A bad accident. Ten seconds later, Kathleen Slavin calls from 270 Myrick Street, where both she and her mother were stabbed. The dispatcher connects her with a private ambulance company, which sends a rescue. But later, there was confusion between the fire department and the ambulance company. Oh, yeah, we, two, seven, we got 270. 270 for a, stab, for a double stabbing. Did they also get an accident at Birch Ave? No. Do you no. want to start? No, that's the original call we got, and then we got a stabbing down the street. When firefighters arrived, they were confronted with the carnage of a car accident and didn't go into the house. Here's another 911 caller. It's being reported as two stab victims. Two stab victims? Yeah. Target 12 has learned firefighters did not find the women until another family member came home to 270 Myrick Street and found the victims bleeding from the attack, then yelled for help. That was more than 20 minutes after the first call. Dispatch, we have not left the scene. We just found two individual stabs at 270 Myrick Street. Taunton Fire Lieutenant Kevin Farrer tells Target 12 his staff is distraught over the delay. He says, my conjecture is that the first responders got on scene and witnessed a car accident. I think they just assumed they were not there for what they were told originally. Farrer says calls for a stabbing at the Silver City Galleria only added to the chaos. He says the nature of the incidents all came together and unfortunately for the Slavins, there was a delay in finding them. The lieutenant tells me this was a very unusual incident, but adds they are examining how this happened. He says a long-term fix is to have a centralized dispatch center, but they are working on a short-term solution as well. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, Eyewitness News.